Hi guys, in this video, I am going to talk about learning process in neural network. So, what is learning? Learning is a process by which free parameters of the neural network are adopted. How we can understand this learning? Suppose we want to learn something like we, I want to learn how to play football or I want to learn how to sing. Then these parameters like playing football, singing are freely available in our environment. And now if I am going to adopt these parameters, like if I want to be a football player, then I need to adopt how to play football. Then the after adopting free parameters of the neural network, we can learn things. Now, how these free parameters are adopted? through a process of change in environment in which neural network is present. So like just like the example, how do we learn playing football? We go to a football club or we go for a training coaching. So what we are doing, we are actually changing our environment. Like my daily schedule is I am coming from college and then and I am studying. Now if I change this process by another process that after uh, I am going to college after coming to college I am going for a football coaching class and then I am studying that is now I am changing my environment now if I am changing my environment then I then only I can learn the things or I can adopt the things so learning is a process by which free parameters of neural network are adopted through a process of change in environment in which neural network is present in neural network basically there are three types of learning first is supervised learning second is reinforced learning and third is unsupervised learning supervised learning is further divided into two parts one is stochastic and second is the gradient descent and unsupervised learning in another two parts one is have and second is the competitive now what is this supervised learning this supervised learning is when a teacher is present in the environment or you can say learning in presence of a teacher but this teacher is present but this teacher also gives a output like you calculated a output and this teacher will present you an another output that will be the actual output and it will compare the two output that is one actual output and one calculated output and now we will find the error by taking the difference between the actual output and the calculated output so supervised learning is when a teacher is present in the environment and this teacher presents an output what is reinforced the in reinforced learning a teacher is present but this teacher not present an output that is this teacher will tell you only that the output that you have calculated is right or wrong now third is unsupervised learning what is unsupervised learning in unsupervised learning there is no teacher present in the environment we learn by its own or you can say this supervised learning learn by its own now coming to the unsupervised learning in this unsupervised learning learning method the target output is not present in unsupervised learning we don't have some target output present no teacher is present to present the desired output hence system learn by its own by discovery input pattern as the name suggests unsupervised learning in unsupervised learning no teacher is present to present the output the system learn by its own by discovering input patterns like how do we learn when there is no teacher present for any particular subject we go through the syllabus we check different different sites we uh, see different different patterns and then we learn the subject this is same how unsupervised learning work in unsupervised learning no teacher is present 
and the system learn by its own unsupervised learning is of two type that first is hab and second is the competitive hab learning is based on correlated weight adjustment in hab learning this learning is based on correlated weight adjustment like one neuron is present and another neuron is present how the weight between the two neurons are adjusted and now it learns through the weight adjustment that is correlated weight adjustment that is weight bit changing between the first neuron and weight changing between the second neuron that is it learns by relating the weight of one neuron to another neuron now coming to the second type that is competitive in competitive those neuron which respond strongly to the input stimuli have their weight adjusted suppose we have a set of neurons like 1 to 10 neurons are present and the neuron which will strongly stimuli to the input will only have their weight adjust how you can under this understand this competitive suppose in a classroom there are 10 students and now we take a test and who will be the winner that is who scored the first will only be given the tuition so this is how the competitive unsupervised learning is whoever will be the winner only the winner is given the learning process or given the tuition so this was all learning process in neural network so if you have any doubts then you can write in the comment section like comment and subscribe thank you